were finishing up our photos as newlyweds and the young lady approached us and told us about the young man that was out in the water. We both looked out and then we both looked at each other and without even thinking or hesitation, I was like, you gotta go. Took my shirt off as fast as I could, um, emptied my pockets really quick and kind of threw them on the ground and started to take my pants off. I looked out and he was drifting further away, the young man was, and I told him, I was like, you don't have time for that. Um, so I just took off running and dove in. Called up to two swimmers that were attempting to go out and help him as well. At that point, I didn't want to, to be more people out there drowning. They had boogie boards, so I said, the one, give me your boogie board, you go back. So he unstrapped it, handed it to me. The closer I got, I could hear the young man, you know, kind of trying to scream or screaming, saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, because he was ingesting water. Once I was able to pull him to me, I put his back to my chest, kind of, and put my boogie board underneath his and we started kicking our way back to shore. We made it about halfway back in, and that's when the rip current kind of stopped our progress. It's our wedding day, you know, you're watching your husband out there with a young man and, you know, other people. You get worried that they may not come back, you know, um, and then you start to panic. I'm bleeding out of my nose because they hit the sled while they were pulling us in. It was insane. It was a wild day. <laughs> <laughs> it was a memorable one, for sure. None of our family members that came knew what was going on. Now our special day is you know, maybe special in another family's house too.